Oh, hey, remember this? Should, because it was only a month ago, but if you haven't seen it, you know, link there or down there. But at the end of that sketch, we showed you this title and asked if you guys would like to see a tutorial on it, and it was an overwhelming yes, so now we will do that. But first, I wanna thank Domain.com for sponsoring this episode. They, of course, have all your website needs, including .com and .net domain names and intuitive website builders, so you can take the first steps in creating an identity online. And no domain extension is gonna help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And if you wanna brand yourself online, Domain.com has over 300 domain name extensions fit your needs from .club to .space. They're reliable, affordable, and they're making it even more affordable by giving you 15% off when you get domain names, web hosting, and email. Just use that coupon code FILMRIOT at domain.com's checkout. And you know, money savings. But now, we actually do the thing. And now, on with the show. Since this is a title, there's no footage to start with, so we're gonna jump right into After Effects, which is how we created the text. If you don't have the font, or if you want custom font for this, you can either start with a similar font, and then on a solid layer, using the pen tool, you can mask around certain details, such as feathers and claws in the vein of the official Fantastic Beast title, or you can create the full title from scratch using the pen tool, giving you complete control over each letter and the overall design. Usually for the 3D text, we jump right into Element 3D, but for this title, we want to closely match the original, which, as you can see here, has a chiseled bevel, much like Josh. Are you talking about my genitals? <laughs> <laughs> to achieve this Josh bevel, we'll need to do a few extra steps, so once you've finished your title, you'll want to export it as .png file with an RGB plus alpha channel for this to work. Now we're going to head into Adobe Photoshop CC and import the title PNG file. Click on the 3D tab and select a new 3D extrusion from the selected layer, which has now created a 3D version of our title. In the properties window, you can see we have multiple shape presets giving a variety of options. For the bevel we want, we selected the style called Pillow Inflate. Extrusion depth controls the depth of the title, which for this we want to keep at zero. Then click on the cap tab to bring up the bevel options such as angle and strength. We only want the front side of the title to be beveled and we boost the width until the bevel becomes chiseled and sharp again, just like Josh. I like this episode. This is a good episode. I like when you say things nice to me. Now to export, go back to the 3D tab that export 3D layer. For the 3D file format, select Wavefront OBJ and click OK to export. For the next step, we need to head over to Blender, which is a great piece of free 3D software. We've talked about it on the show a few times before, but we wanna get more into it in the future because it's really powerful software that is completely free. Now, Photoshop did a nice job creating the 3D text, but it's currently one solid 3D object. What we want is to have all individual layers separated for the animation that we're going to do. So we've imported our title into Blender and with the title selected, choose Edit Mode, then click the Face Select Mode as well as the Limited Selection button. This is so any faces we select are also selected on the other side of the title. Now hold down Control and right click and drag to create a selection around our first letter, then hit P on your keyboard to bring up the Separate Options. Click on Selection to separate the letter from the rest of the title and do this for each individual letter until they have all been separated, then export as a wavefront OBJ. Back in After Effects, create a new comp and call it Element Title, then create a new solid and apply Video Copilot's Element 3D plugin and go into Scene Setup. Then we'll import the separated title that we just exported from Blender. For the material, we use Video Copilot's Pro Presets 2 material called Clean Metal Light. Then we alter the level of the glossiness texture to make it more reflective. We then change the environment map to one with more detail and color, tweaking it to get more interesting reflections. Then we scrub forward in the After Effects timeline to the point where we want our title animation to finish. In Element, click on Group 1, Particle Look, Multi Object, and Tick Enable Multi Objects. This will utilize the letters we separated. Add a keyframe for the size, Y rotation, Z rotation, rotation random, and displace and scatter multi. Highlight those keyframes in the timeline and hit F9 on your keyboard to set them to easy ease keyframes. Now we're gonna scroll to the beginning of the timeline and now alter the settings of each of the keyframe parameters. We want the title to look like the letters are bursting out from the center, so we just altered it until it looked like we wanted it. It's a bit slow and uniform right now, so to increase the explosiveness of it, we can highlight the keyframes and click on the graph editor. In here, we can tweak the speed of the 
the keyframes to create faster motion at the beginning than have it slow down over time. If you need to, you can stagger the end keyframes in time until you have an animation you like. Next, turn on motion blur for the layer and for the comp. Then in element under render settings, you can turn on ambient occlusion to create the illusion of shadows when the text is close together. And now you should have something that looks like this. Next, we're gonna create a camera and make keyframes at the beginning of the timeline for the position and point of interest. Then scroll through the timeline and alter the position and point of interest to have the camera move away from the title over time. We use the graph editor again to have it slow down toward the end. And for the background, we use this cloud stock footage from Adobe Stock. Again, we've been talking about Adobe Stock a lot, but that's because we are using it constantly. Stock footage really is a great way to get things like this on the fly when you need them. So you don't have time to go out and get your own assets. Jump over to Adobe Stock and grab what you need but now that we have that we're going to drop it below the title and turn it into a 3d layer then scale it and change the position if needed for your scene and because this footage is a sped up time lapse we slowed it down a lot so that movement is more subtle then we turned on frame blending for the layer and comp and now we have a nice potter-esque sky background then to make it match the official title even closer we use the curves effect to lower the brightness and change the color now to make the title stand out even more we're going to add curves and boost some of the muddy air Areas. Then we added one of my favorite plugins from Red Giant, which is Colorista. First, we're gonna boost the saturation. Then we're gonna boost the effect called pop to 100%. This pops the highlights and detail, which works really great for titles. For the subtitle, we created a new text layer and altered the structure until it matched the original title. Then on a new solid layer, apply Element 3D and under custom layers, custom text and mask, choose our new text layer, then open up the scene. Click extrude to create the 3D text. And again, we're going to apply a metal texture this time clean metal light to get more detail from this texture we scroll down to the text layers uv mapping and change the uv repeat to four by four now on the material we change the reflectivity color to a goldish hue and once again change the environment map to a different texture in the render settings you can change the rotation of the environment map to try to get different angles of reflections and highlights to best match your scene we again enabled multi objects and made a keyframe for the y rotation near the end of the timeline we go to the beginning of the timeline Timeline and alter the Y rotation until the text is side on to the camera. When you preview, the letter should turn to face the camera like so. Then we're gonna change the element world transformation properties to line up the text in the right position with the rest of the title. We added another instance of Colorista to give this text some pop and use curves to boost the brightness further. Red Giant Universe also has a great chromatic glow, which we use changing the setting to make the text have a subtle magical glow. Then the final step for the text is to keyframe the opacity to have it fade in over time. At this point, we rendered out the title so that we wouldn't have to keep re-rendering each time that we added something new. We drag this render to the top of the comp and click the eye off on all the other layers. And it's a good tip that if you have unused layers in your comp that are distracting or making it look messy, you can click the shy option for each layer and enable the hide option for the comp hiding any layer that you don't want to see. So you can clean up in a non-destructive way. For the magical effects, we use multiple assets from our Extinction Sci-Fi and Magic Sci-Fi packs which you could get in a link in the notes below. We set the blending mode of each layer to screen and built up the change positions of the different layers until we had a magical explosion like this, which in color gives it sort of a Nanny McPhee vibe. But if we want to resemble the Fantastic Beast title, we need it to be white. So first select all the asset layers and go to layer, pre-compose, and then click OK. Set the blending mode to screen, then go to effects, color correction, tint to make it black and white. Then add color reset to boost the brightness and add pop to add some pizzazz. Now it looks a lot similar to the official title. To take it a step further, duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D, then use curves to boost the brightness even more and a fast box blur around five. Now pre-compose this layer and select move all attributes into the new composition. We call this comp energy displace map. Create a new adjustment layer below the energy comps layer and call it displacement. Go to effects, distort, displacement map and change the displacement map layer to the energy displacement map comp and alter the displacement values to your choosing. You might notice this can create a gap around the edge of your comp. So a way to get around this is by going into the comp and applying the unmolt effect from Red Giant Universe, which turns any black pixels transparent, which gets rid of the displaced border. Next, add a compound blur effect 
And for the blur layer, again, select the energy displacement map comp. This creates a blur for only the parts directly below the energy effects, giving a sort of cloudy look, and the blur automatically decreases as the energy disperses. Now, the original title has some glints on various parts of the text, so a simple way to achieve this is by creating a new adjustment layer above everything and applying the magic bullet looks effect. Inside here, we can apply the anamorphic flare effect and change the colors to look more like the official title, which is on the warm side. Then alter the size and threshold to minimize the flares to only affect the smaller areas. For our color grade, we used our drive LUT from our cinematic LUTs pack, link in the notes for that as well. Then we used a curves effect and tint effect until we were happy with the look overall. And finally, to tie everything together, we created another adjustment layer and added the red giant universe glow effect, changing the settings until we had a nice even glow. And that's it, a magical title of magic. But that brings us to the end of today's episode. As always, social media links for me and the team in the notes below, along with links for everything that we talked about today. And I'll see you next time when I go off to fight a fire for a lot less money than I could have got from the other job. <laughs>